Garden of Terrors. Are we first pick? No cell thing? Dead cells? Uh, I will be playing more dead cells for sure. I just don't know when. Not today. Battle right is the thing today. Oh, I don't know after that. I don't know after that. Ugh, haven't, haven't planned that far ahead, team. Haven't planned that far ahead. But I definitely want to play more dead cells. There'll be more stronghold. We still need to do the orc campaign of Warcraft 3. That'll obviously be more heroes of the storm. Um, next week, there'll be Destiny 2. I think from Tuesday, so yeah, that's basically what's going on there. Hopefully they don't ban Vikings. Stukov, I think that's a pretty bad ban. Alright, we're going to see some lost Vikings here. Sonia, okay, it's not a bad pick. If I was them, I would have picked Uther Genji and just been like, we are going to wreck your face and we're going to kill your Vikings. Genji's gonna get resets. GG, thanks for playing. Um, so it's nice that they didn't uh, they didn't uh, do that. Appreciate that. We're looking at a Tychus, okay. We're gonna get Falstad. Falstad's also a decent pick. I'd be more scared of Genji, but Falstad's good as well. He can kill Vikings very easily. He's got great wave clear. He can disengage fights, should be pretty solid. Gonna get a Tychus. And we're going to get Genji. Okay. It would have been a lot nicer if he'd let us take the Uther Genji, but to be fair, we were slower on our picks, so that's reasonable enough. Um, yeah. I think Genji should be really good on Garden of Terror. He's got good ganks, he's got really good mobility, really good escapes. Um, he's good at actually destroying single targets like the terrors um i he wins team fights like i think genji should be really strong in this map hasn't been in the rotation while he's been in it i don't think but i expect genji to be very strong here um very strong here what do we ban away from the enemy team that's a good question uh i don't know actually Sarah tool, yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. It, it, it's one of those things where you go like, will they actually be able to play Zara tool? Maybe not, but if they do, it would be very good for them. But it, it's one of those things where it's like, he's this hero who, who straddles that balance of being really strong, but uh, instant picks from them. Which were our two picks. Hmm. Yeah, right wing, sure. Johanna, definitely n uh, not the Zarya. Yeah. Well, with the Vikings comp, I don't know. Our four man team here looks really, really weak. Our four man team looks really weak. Uh, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see. What's the optimal four-man team with the Lost Vikings? I'm actually not sure what the optimal four-man team is. Generally, you'd want like a very good pushing hero. Like I'd say a really good four-man team would be something like Vala, Oriel, Tassadar, and I don't know, something like Anubarak, ETC, something like that. Um, that's probably what you'd be looking for. I think their draft is substantially better than ours. Uh, so this would be really, really, really difficult. Like, really difficult. Like, I'd say we've got, you know, maybe a 40% chance at best to win this game. At best. Um, but I, that's what I reckon. Um, I think with Bright Vikings, a super powerful four-man push comp. Vala, Tassadar, Oriole. Um, plus something. Johanna could work. Um, anything really. ETC again. Like just something with like some CC that's very tanky, mobile enough and can peel and stuff. And that four man just like pushes one lane like nuts. And you basically say to the enemy team, 
All right, deal with it. Deal with it. We got Vikings soaking the other lanes. You got to deal with having this this crazy four man push. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna How are you gonna deal with it? Got okay, Viking bribery here. Oh man, gotta raise my APM. Time to raise my APM. Diva here. The thing with Vikings is that you have to keep a really high APM all the way through the fight, which is a very unnatural, through the entire game, which is a very unnatural thing for a MOBA player to do, where your APM and your engagement varies hugely from being super fast during a team fight to being very slow, really, uh, during the more passive map phases. For example, right here, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm slow getting to Eric, you know? You should probably, like, practice spamming the buttons. Also, four-man mid is bad. With Vikings, you want a four-man, like, bottom or something. This way they can gank all of my Vikings, which makes my life very difficult. Attacking my Vikings, how rude. I don't think they've got anyone up top. Okay, they've got false set up top. This is a pain in the butt. Kind of sit back here. Oh, I want... I want to be there for the globe. I missed it. So this is really bad. You can see we're instantly losing the game because our teammates don't have a clue how to play with Vikings. Don't have a clue how to play with Vikings. They're all over the place. It's very clunky. Okay, that's as much damage as I can do over there. Lost one though in return. It's okay. Genji's her thing. Okay. There goes the false dead. Heh. I just lost Eric because I was looking at that. That's bad for me. Bad APMs. Basically, just like push and soak all the waves here. Stuff is starting to work because we've drawn them all the way. <laughs> okay, good. I can't shoot away from this. I think I do want to. Stitch just doesn't need to be here wave clearing, and he shouldn't be, in fact. Stitch's fault for being uh, left alone. Yeah, so he knows he messed up there. So at least there's that. But like, if our teammates die, we get in a really rough spot where everything starts to go wrong. It all falls apart once they die. get spin to win. Yeah, okay, I lost Eric. I was gonna say, and we're probably gonna lose uh, Olaf now as well, because I messed up. It's kind of done by me. 
Yeah, that's dumb by me. This misplay. Very big misplay. I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna take a risk here. It's worked out. It's worked out very well indeed. Oh, frick, he's taking AFK. Oops. Getting shot by towers. That's just how I roll, team. That's just how I roll. And Stitches shouldn't even be here. He's gonna die, probably because of it. Yeah, he's dead. Stitches isn't very good. We really take off once we get... Uh, Intense. I got to do stuff in every single lane right now. Not good. Not good. Tychus should not be up top. Should not be there. He's only there to soak. Doesn't matter. He's irrelevant. Big guy, or by the Tychus, I suppose. Sony has not been there for this, so. There's a problem as well. Like this, a big part of the problem is our comp. Like we don't have anything to punish them. by the uh, fortunate there. I was trying to push in the, the Merc Camp to have that there. Okay, we're gonna get jump. That should be good. Our team needs to go and do stuff. Fala being rude. And that's okay. So they're here, huh? Or they're not here. away from that. There is Brightwing. Rest in pieces. Good news is we're still close in XP, which is good. Like we're not super far behind, so that's nice.
Not really used to playing with Vikings. Huh? <laughs> really? Oops. He's dead. Oh, that's very not good. Oh, fuck. Aye, right, fuck it. It's very difficult. We've got, like, the comp is so bad. The comp is so bad that we've got no map pressure. It's like, even though we've got Vikings, Viking feed, pretty much that is Vikings feed. Even though we've got Vikings, like, we've got zero map pressure. It's like, even though we have a free one person in every lane, and we've got then four people that can go to any one lane, four people that can go to any objective. We're constantly under pressure from the enemy team. Like, we're constantly nowhere close. Uh, I guess we'll put Olaf inside. And we'll bring Eric. Eric down here. I'll bring him into middle. Roll. Nice work, team. Now, this is what it's supposed to look like. Our team starts just wrecking things. Now, we've got a, 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 a camp inspired push in mid, which is really nice. I'm gonna run up here, drop this. Actually, no, run up here, drop this, smash, smash. We're gonna push in like this. Ah. Okay, it's not gonna work, is it? Mm. Oh, I lost my Viking in the middle. Probably to something like to nothing, probably. Okay. Our team is about to make a play, so this is good. I like it. I like it a lot. Go on our keep. Matter if he dies. Okay, it's fine. Um, no, I'll leave him here. If only I could bribe. If only I could bribe. We're too short of a bribe. That is depressing. I don't really care if Eric dies, and I'm kind of expecting him to die. I'm going to leave him down there on the off chance that we're able to bribe away that camp. Looks like we will be able to. Yeah. Okay, nice. Very nice. All right, we're gonna teleport in here. And we're gonna get this keep. Good kill. Oh, Genji. Genji's dead. We need to run away. Okay. Ha! Divine shield. Nice. That's huge. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna come up here. I'm actually gonna bring him into the mid lane. Okay. This should be fine. We gotta keep. This is huge. We've opened up the win condition, which is also huge. I don't know if this is technically a good idea, but this is what we're going to do. It's probably not a good idea. Split up like this? I don't know. All we need is one enough for one terror, so I should probably actually be more split. Oh well. 
Mm, right wing's dead. That's very not good. Okay, multiple people are dead. That's very not good. Again, I actually think this is a mistake. I think I should be focusing on this. Because we only need seeds. Again, like I said, we need seeds for one terror. That's it. That's like our goal here, is just to get seeds for one terror. There we go, we got it. Nice, okay. So this is huge, and this is like Viking's advantage. How are you guys doing? can jump here. He's almost definitely dead, unfortunately for him. Uh, we're actually going to wait on this. I'll keep these two guys here. Let's wait for people to respawn. He escaped. Nice. I'm actually going to keep Eric outside. There's no rush, we're waiting for Tychus. Go away, you idiot. <laughs> Why is he waiting? Okay, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That's hilarious. Okay, he's actually going to gust me away. That's really interesting. I'm going to go for their core. He's inside of Sonya, huh? Okay. And this is good for us. I'm scared. Let's find Shiokan. This is nice. Hmm. I kind of want to pick for this to work. Get the Fala. Kill their squishies with the Genji. There we go. Nice. All right, good. That should win us the game. That was very well played by Genji. Okay, that was a really interesting one. <laughs> is Rumi joining next game? No, this is the last game. That was an interesting one. Uh, I, I played okay. It wasn't the best at all. I had some a couple of pretty derpy mistakes. Uh, I think it was definitely awkward because our draft was bad. Um, <laughs> the draft was very bad, which made it tricky because like we were even though we had Vikings, it was constantly our team that was the one that was under pressure, which is really awkward. Um, I feel like honestly, uh, I feel like B guy kind of carried that in a pretty big way. Um, we were pretty favoured, we were very favoured. Um, he got some really good ganks and kills and stuff like that. Um, it was that weird situation where though, like we were being pushed in pretty much everywhere, which was kind of, kind of awkward. Hmm, kind of awkward, but we did it okay. I mean like to the Vikings, we're soaking it up. But I think it would be much better off again. Like you could imagine if instead of this comp we had, you know, like a Johanna, like uh, Vala, Tassadar, and an Oriel, and they're just like pushing super hard in one of the lanes, like super hard. They clear the wave instantly. They're onto the towers. They can soak shots on the towers with their, their abilities very easily. And it's just like, they will destroy your fort. What do you do? How do you even fight something that's like double support, uh, hyper carry like Vala? Like, how can you do that? You know, um, very difficult to actually deal with that. Uh, and then the Vikings are soaking the lanes. Whereas in this case, we did not have much wave clear, really. Um, like, the enemy team had Fala, they had Tassad, uh, they sorry, they had Fala, Sonya, and Falstad. Um, so they had the lanes really all pushed, and that made it quite difficult, I feel like, to deal with. 
Um, but we did get and once we had once we had the actual terrors, we had a big advantage once we get the terrors because then you got a Viking in the terror, you got the other guys split up. Uh, I did okay with the bribes. Um, lost a few unnecessary Vikings, all right. Uh, and I had some sort of interesting stuff at play again. Uh, it was a pretty interesting game. This one, pretty interesting game. Yeah, I'd be curious to watch this one again myself so that I can learn what to do better on Vikings from watching.